The Geneva Motor Show is underway in Switzerland, featuring some of the world's coolest cars. Here's a look at some of the highlights. Switzerland doesn't have much of a domestic car industry, but it is home to one of the largest and most important car shows. Here at the 2019 Geneva Auto Show, manufacturers from all over the world have been competing for the attention of the world's press, with everything on show from electric buggies to multi-million dollar hypercars. The Roadshow team have been covering every inch of the show floor, and here are a few things that caught our attention. First up, Volkswagen, who have given the classic June buggy a 21st century twist by removing the air-cooled engine and replacing it with an electric motor, giving it a range of 155 miles and over 200 horsepower. With no doors or a roof, achieving its top speed of 99 miles an hour should be a lot of fun. Unfortunately, it's just a concept at the moment, so it'll be a while before we see something like this June bashing, but it's great to see that Volkswagen haven't forgotten about the humble June buggy. Over at the Ferrari stand, we were introduced to the F8 Tributo, the Italian manufacturer's latest mid-engine supercar. At 710 horsepower, this has the most powerful V8 engine Ferrari has ever fitted to a production car. That will help this car get up to a top speed of 211 miles an hour and from 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds flat. Ferrari says that this is the very last time they'll fit a V8 to a car without any kind of hybridization. So in many ways, this right here is the end of an era. Now, Koenigsegg might not necessarily be a manufacturer you've heard of, but it is definitely one you should be paying attention to. The Jesko, named after the founder's father, puts out a phenomenal 1,600 horsepower. That's about as much as four Ford Mustangs. And it has a theoretical top speed of 300 miles an hour. At that speed, you'd cross an entire football field in under a second. And all of this is powered by a five liter V8. It seems even in the world of modern car performance, Old school muscle still has a place. And finally, Bugatti wowed the crowds with La Voiture Noire, or the black car, which is a one-of-a-kind variation of the Chiron hypercar. It's an homage to the lost Atlantique, which was a classic Bugatti that was mysteriously misplaced during the Second World War. Now, this car shares performance with the Chiron, which at 1,500 horsepower is amazing, but where the two cars differ is in the price tag. Where a Chiron will set you back $3 million, the price tag on La Voiture Noire is 12 and a half million before tax. For that amount of money, you could buy yourself a Ferrari as well as one for 49 of your best friends. That makes this the most expensive new car ever sold and reportedly there's already a buyer lined up. It's been a great show with traditional engineering and modern technology working together to create some phenomenal new cars. But if there's a takeaway, it's that no matter how fast or powerful or indeed expensive your car is, there's one coming up soon that's going to beat it. From the 2019 Geneva Auto Show, I'm Drew Stern for Roadshow on CBSN.